Hello, hello, everyone. Thanks. Uh, well, thank you, Lida. Thank you, Sax, for being here. So I'm going to introduce I'm Guilherme, CEO and co-founder of Drex5. And we're going to talk today um, a little bit reward assets tokenization on Bitcoin. So the overall vision of our project is to increase uh, use case for Bitcoin and actually to enhance the liquidity for companies. I'm going to skip this overall here. So the problem that we are tracking here is the lack of liquidity for a small middle enterprise in Portugal and worldwide. Right now, there is a process called factoring where those companies, they can sell their invoice. For example, a restaurant that sells a bunch of beer uh, to, to its customer, and then he's just gonna be paid in 30 days. What he does he do if he has a cash flow issue? He can go to a bank, a private bank, and uh, sell that invoice, but he does not get a very good return on that. So the way you can see it for a solution is really to tokenize those invoices on with smart contracts in smart contracts and immutable chains, but mainly on Bitcoin because that's the mother chain with the increased liquidity, increased security for the assets worldwide. So we're going to have blockchain for transparency, security, and smart contracts on stacks or even rooms and originals where those financial instruments, essentially the invoices for those companies, are going to be tokenized. So our platform that we developed connects directly investors without intermediaries, middlemen like banks, directly with those uh, restaurants, companies, uh, paint shops, uh, any, anything to buy those invoices from them. So here is an overall architecture. It's kind of very complex that we have. But essentially, you originate a financial instrument. You create a legal structure. That legal structure is going to bind that runes, that ordinals, or that token with the financial instrument behind. And then with that, you can connect, directly sell that invoice through smart contracts to the investors. And that's what we do in our platform. So essentially, we have some uh, advantages in this. You have security. That's not the slide. Oh, you guys changed my presentation a little bit. Yeah. This one. So essentially, you can create with markets. You can connect people directly. That's the... That was not my presentation, Kevin, that's no problem. So essentially, we're going to have Bitcoin for immutable traceability. You have an invoice, any restaurants, you can tokenize, put on the blockchain. You can connect directly with uh, any investors with Web3. People can pay Bitcoin, people can pay with Ethereum, people can pay in stable coins. What it's going to do is going to increase adoption, it's going to remove middlemen, it's going to decrease the fees and the take rates that those companies have. And also, you're going to have more use case and essentially more adoption for worldwide crypto and Bitcoin. So that's how we see that tokenization is going to bring adoption to crypto. That's how we see the tokenization is going to bring adoption to Bitcoin. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Fast test? Okay. Um, we have the slides. Do we have the slides? Let's see. Oh, okay, good. We have it. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Matteo, and today I'm here to present you the first ever UTXO based scaling layer for Bitcoin. Uh, the name is called Photon. Uh, we know that Bitcoin is our favorite chain, it's the biggest one, it's adopted and it's secure, decentralized, but doesn't scale well. It's expensive and there are no smart contracts, of course. This is why we created Photon as a scaling layer to obtain high throughput, so many transactions uh, have smart contracts and, of course, have cheap transactions because it's super important for many use cases. This photon has some very important features. One of them is the liquid staking of Bitcoin to secure the layer. Uh, it has extended UTXO architecture to create smart contracts on UTXO, so it is the same as Bitcoin, but with smart contract on top, and is very fast. One, because of the throughput, and the second, because we can create zero knowledge proof very easily. This is the architecture of Photon. The, the first layer, the base, is the ZK roll-up bridge that secure the, the communication with the layer one, with Bitcoin. And on top of it, we have the liquid staking. And on top of it, we have the smart contracts that leverage the UTXO, which allows them to scale very well. On top of these smart contracts, we can create zero-knowledge proof to have basically uh, extra-large smart contracts 
uh, that are very cheap to use and very fast. And also they conserve privacy. Photon is the only layer nowadays that has all these properties compared to the competitors and alternatives. We also have other features on this layer, like smart tokens, which is super important to implement some, uh, for example, some stable coins like USDC. Account, account abstractions to have more control and security in your wallets. Tier pricing, so instead of having the war for fees, so the problem is that who pays more gets the transaction first, the fee is constant and there are different levels for the fees. So in this way, you always have your transaction on the chain without having to fight with the other people. And the last one is Babel fees. If I have a project uh, that is using, for example, stable coins, I don't want to ask my user to pay with, for example, Bitcoin directly. We do it hidden behind. So Babel fees allows you to pay the transaction fees, but do it with another token. The ZK contracts are uh, the best thing of the UTXO layer. This, uh, with, uh, with EVM, you have to create a proof, a zero-knowledge proof, that is quite big and expensive. Thanks to UTXO, we can prove only the parts, the inputs that we need to use in the transaction. So it's very cheap, it's very quick, and, and very efficient. On top of that, enterprises will be able to create parallel chains, we call them L3s, to, they, they can open and close dynamically and use the, the settlement layer and the data availability layer of Photon itself. So there are many examples where enterprises need them, like uh, supply chains. Our roadmap uh, starts now and goes until 2026. There are several important milestones. We are already working on it. We expect to release on mainnet on January next year and in testnet in October this year. Uh, our team is made of a lot of professionals in the UTXO environment. So they have, we have combined more than 50 years of experience on UTXOs. So our, pros, uh, our project, hopefully, will help a lot of use cases to start developing on Bitcoin and get the liquidity from the big Bitcoin ecosystem, so enhance the use cases uh, safely. Our token, of course, will be called Light, and it will be released near the, the actual mainnet release. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi, everyone. Why is this JPEG inscribed on chain? And why not her work? There are so many beautiful artworks out there from great artists, and they are not inscribed. I am Penzo, and I'm a creative coder. So I help traditional artists create on-chain, long-form creative coding collections with 3.js, P5.js, touch designer, and stable diffusion. Uh, how do I do it? I try to understand the style of the artist. I replicate their style using technologies uh, like 3.js, for example. And then I support the artist to launch the collection on different marketplaces. I was, um, uh, you know, lucky enough to work with the big artists so far, and um, I really uh, understood that there is like a need for artists to launch collection on chain, especially long form uh, collections. But uh, they don't always know how to do it. So uh, creating a long form collection and uh, going on chain is particularly difficult. So. Um, the, the validation that I have is that uh, an average artist pay up to 50K uh, to bring uh, a long form collection on chain. And so there is definitely a need up there. And the, the collection I created generated more than 3 million in, um, in the volume. Uh, so the solution that I'm working on is creating a user friendly decentralized application and marketplace that actually automate this process so my business becomes more scalable. I call it abstract fragment. And uh, how does it work? First, the artists upload their body of work. Uh, we train a stable diffusion model based on their work. 
um, the artist can uh, see all the outputs on a beautiful dashboard and select uh, the best outputs so they have some curation around what AI is creating. And then we is inscribe automatically the collection on chain. Um, so we are, uh, the, the customers are of course artists and collectors as well. And the business model will be transaction fees and uh, premium membership for artists. But uh, instead of paying 50 grand for my services, they will pay a much lower fee to have an automated process and be able to inscribe their chain, uh, on chain forever their art. So why stacks? Because we can create smart contracts, we can tokenize art collections, we can um, distribute royalties, and also we have uh, the proof of authenticity for the artwork. So for me, the next step would be developing a minimum viable product and test the, the market. So if you are an artist and you are interested in working in this space, just please reach out. Thank you.